tomorrow's medical devices are going to be much more interoperable, we'll have different devices talking to each other, and it'll be so much more important to secure that wireless communication between all those devices. This is an, an experiment setup for uh, the security of medical devices. We're using a synthetic human. Um, particularly, we're looking at interference. Researchers have identified a new security risk in the sensors of medical devices such as implantable cardiac defibrillators and pacemakers. In, in my laboratory, we look at how to improve the security of devices ranging from RFID-enabled credit cards to implantable medical devices. This is a defibrillator that was explanted from a patient and was donated, and we use these devices to test how secure they are. And our research explores how to make sure that the wireless interface doesn't lead to a compromise of the system. All electronic devices emit different kinds of electromagnetic interference, and they can interfere with medical devices. The researchers found that they could use radio interference to send false heartbeat signals to the devices in controlled lab conditions. Theoretically, a false signal could inhibit needed pacing or cause unnecessary defibrillation shocks. Experiments show that this would be very difficult to do in the real world, however. Researchers say patients with these devices can be confident that their implants are safe. Today, by and large, I don't see much intentional uh, harm being done to a medical device. In fact, I'm aware of none. I think patients today who are prescribed a device are much better off with that device than without. But the kinds of research we look at in my laboratory will enable future devices to be more available to patients without having to worry about the security issues. If we can design particles that essentially act as robots, once we inject them, they are intelligent enough to go to, based on our design, to the location that we want them to and only go there, 